Bernard Hogan Howe is under pressure. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I don't think it's fair, no, because I think uh, somebody in his position, a chief constable, deals with hundreds of incidents every single day, and to personalise it in this way I think is very wrong. I think we should be worried about the fact that the two previous commissioners um, you know, had to resign. And, and is, is this what we really want in terms of such a vital position? I think, you know, I, 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 you know, I need to declare that clearly Bernard is somebody I've worked with throughout my career. But I do think any objective view would say that he is a remarkable police leader. When an officer used the words credible and true, didn't that make you squirm? It did, but on the other hand, I could understand the dilemma that an investigator is in and the fact that often detectives had to absolutely go out of their way to really get it across to victims and potential victims that when they come across, their, you know, that their account will, that first account, be believed and will be seen as true. Now, clearly, it's the job of an investigator to then challenge that victim's reality uh, in terms of looking for evidence which will either support that um, or will undermine it. But, you know, you can understand why a, de a detective would say that. Would you apologise to Lady Britain? Well, there is clearly a particular issue about a delay in somebody being given information. Then absolutely, you know, I think you would apologise for that because that is a clear mistake. It is an error. It is not how the procedure should work. But I certainly think that no Chief Constable would apologise for investigating anybody, you know, if there has been an allegation. How concerned are you by the level of political interference in these cases? Well, it's, you know, I think it's really unfortunate. We seem to be adopting the American system uh, because it is, you know, it becomes very, very personal. And as I, Chief Constable, suffered some of that myself, where you end up being a celebrity. You didn't want to be a celebrity. You didn't want to be a personality. Um, and the trouble with it is that that then, you know, we, we don't see that behind that. Bernard is a very, very professional police officer. Uh, and if he was to go, the people who would do best out of this would be the criminals of London. So I think, you know, this whole way makes it becoming more, 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 more personalised, particularly the way the position of the Commissioner of, of London um, over now the last three commissioners has become very personalised and very targeted. Um, I, you know, I think it is an aspect of really the American system um, which we should not be adopting. It's a case of the establishment biting back. Well it is and of course that is part of the danger in this particular case but of course what's happened now is absolutely it looks like when um, the suspect um, was a member of the establishment as would, would, would be termed then clearly other members of the establishment come round to protect that. Now, I think, you know, Lord Bramwell is a very distinguished, um, you know, a, a soldier and, and, and a great leader. Um, but the trouble is that in terms of this difficult issue of trying to get this matter cleared up, and particularly to encourage more victims to come forward, then clearly it is really, really important that victims have confidence. And if they see that in a case like this, it appears that, um, you know, establishment figures have come behind that, then clearly it's probably going to discourage more people from coming forward. Do you think in cases of historic child abuse there should be a third way of investigating? We certainly need a third way. Uh, when such a tiny proportion of victims get justice through the system and yet on the other hand feel you know, hugely wronged and have had their lives destroyed, I think there does need to be some careful consideration of whether there could be another system, possibly closer to the civil system. It would need to be very you know, creative and imaginatively difficult, di different. But I think that's the problem at the moment. We are trying to force these cases into a court system which was designed at a very different time for different types of, of, of cases and it is clearly not working.